$81. Never even opened it, never enjoyed it, never even inspected it. Ooh, that's an arrowhead. Oh, what's this one look like? Oh, yes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. 1968. Good morning, Locker Nuts. All right, I'm getting a little bit of a late start. It's a little bit after 10 o'clock right now. Got my coffee, got my bagel. Now I'm about to get to packing. It's funny because last night Jana said in the in the live, Jack gets up early to make sure he can get all the packages together the next day. And yeah, usually I do, but sometimes, especially when I have two auctions within three days apart, um, you know, we had Monday and Wednesday. It's it takes a lot out of you. We Jan and I are experiencing what feels like a hangover after the especially after the second auction let me show you what the room looks like after the auction all right <laughs> everything you see on the table down here on the floor everything up here on the table a little bit over here a little bit over here all that needs to get packed up that's a lot of stuff that's a lot of boxes that's a lot of time but i'm certainly not complaining uh it was a great night a great night, long night, five hours of auction. So thank you everyone who was on there with us last night. Thank you everyone who purchased from us last night. And thank you, Mama G, for being our moderator and hanging with us for so, so long. It's really late for her. Uh, it's late for a lot of you guys. It's, we went to 11 o'clock our time. That's 2 a.m. East Coast. I know we had people in other countries watching as well. Just want to say thank you guys so much. It is a real blessing to us to have this opportunity to be able to do these auctions because it is providing income where many of our other sources have dried up, like flea markets. So, um, yep, we're going to get to packing. And uh, hopefully, as soon as I'm done with that, I'll get back to unboxing because we got some more good stuff to show you. All right, you guys. So check this out. I was packing boxes that day from, I think I started at 10 or a little bit after 10. I finished my last box at 9 p.m. <laughs> It took all day to pack. There was some other stuff too, like some eBay orders to pack and a couple of direct sales, but that was a day of packing. But I got it all done in that one day. I got most of the packages out before five. The rest of them went out the next day, um, the ne you know, the next morning. So anyways, uh, yesterday I had some errands to run and uh, taking a little bit of a slower pace just to get caught up. But today I got to get, and I'm really sorry, guys, I haven't had videos coming out for you. But right now, we're going to get to some more unboxing from the train unit. All right? Great stuff coming out of that unit. I've got a whole bunch of boxes here from the last trip to the locker. Uh, let's see if we can bust through a lot of them and get some great stuff for our auctions coming up. All right. Let's start it up with this. It says Neiman Marcus. I don't know if they bought this at Neiman Marcus, but I can see what's that. I know what it is already. Steinbeck right here it says Steinbeck and I believe this is another nutcracker oh my goodness this thing is so fancy look at that that is super super fancy very detailed it's the three musketeers it's Porthos and uh Steinbach this is a uh, handmade in Germany. These are, it's like the other one that we found. That was a, quite a few videos ago, but we did find another one. I think I listed it. It's over a hundred bucks. This was 185 brand new. Bought from Neiman Marcus, right? There's the NM. Yeah, that's pretty cool. He's got some value. Good start. This guy's going on eBay. All right, this is a huge, huge box. A box of boxes. Let's start with this right here, Lionel Train. More of the same that we've had. Milwaukee Road Dining Car. It's nice. It's probably a few bucks. This Walther's Work Train. It's $35 new, but who knows how long ago that was. Look at the tape just coming right off easy. It's so old. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. They're like models. They're all little models of a bunch of little train cars. Ooh, that's cool. This is all... I'm going to rip the bag open because 
we got to take these out and take a look. Not good. Made in Japan. Look at this guy. Huh. Neat. Little bear. These are all hockey pucks in here. Look at that. Minnesota North Stars. <laughs> oh, Hartford Whalers. The Capitals. USA versus USSR. That's cool. 1990 is 30 years old. New York Rangers. The Oilers. Detroit Red Wings. The Rangers. Penguins. Look at that. Minnesota North Stars. We'll definitely, definitely see this in our auction. This will be a nice little lot right here. Islanders. San Jose Sharks. Four bucks, whatever that was. Winnipeg Jets. Okay, you get the idea, right? Here's some more. Canucks. 17 hockey pucks. That's interesting. It's a little different. That's what this is. Compressor and an airbrush kit right here. Hobbyist airbrush kit. It's actually really cool, guys. This is actually really cool. Okay, this is a remote control switches. Lionel. Oh, okay. Actually, no, this, uh, that's not a switch. That's a train car. Ooh, this is a $70 train car. Check this out. Post-war Lionel Lyons whistle coal tender works serviced. Bought it for 70 bucks, $11 shipping, $81, never even opened it, never enjoyed it, never even inspected it to make sure it was what they promised. Just stuck it in the storage. All right, here's the switches. Lionel switches. Oh, we've got something else in here too. Look at that. Also got this. All right, next box. Ooh, it feels like a train car. And he bought it from an eBay seller. That's pretty cool. Nice. Next box. Probably some trains. Let's see. Yep. Yep. Okay. All right. Next box, and this says right here. I see it says LGB switches four. There is a lot of them. Huh. All right. Another one. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> Quite the LGB switch collection going here. Another one. Okay, next box. Got one of these great totes. And here we see it looks like a nutcracker. A nutcracker. Good for locker nuts channel to have the nutcrackers. We got the theme going. I didn't do that. <laughs> his his nose fell off. That sucks. He kind of needs that. He was on top, I bet you the, some heavy went on top and knocked his nose loose, but that's okay, we can, uh, we can glue that on, but you see the top here? This guy's also been on display for a long time, he is dusty, and crusty, and maybe a little bit musty. Okay, this one is a train car, looks like it's, uh, supposed to be in pieces, because <laughs> it's in pieces. Um, but I think that's the way these came. They came like kind of like a little model you put together. So you just need to snap that guy back. But, yep, it's got the train. Oh, it's got a price tag. Let's see how much that was. Target range car, though. Check this side out. It's got the targets on that side. It's kind of cool. $35. Wow. Number 6448. Another nutcracker. Very dusty. But, hey, his nose is intact, so that's always a plus. I don't know. Do you guys want to see these in the auction? These nutcrackers? We could always do a lot of those. Oh, look at this. It's a little teepee. Not the kind of teepee that's running out at Costco right now. The kind of teepee, you know, the Indians used. Garden Center Railways. Oh, so it's for your little train display. Another nutcracker. Okay, that's creepy. A little clown figurine. Look at that. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, a little pottery piece here with, oh, I got a couple coins. Okay, this is a little coin from France. Dollar coin, Eisenhower dollar. 
1972. Good, good, good. Okay, another nutcracker. Another nutcracker. This one's a little one. A little bigger nutcracker here. These are collectible. We When we bring these to the flea market, we do get attract those buyers. We had $9 for this little one right here. Oh, that's... Oh, wow, look at this. A little, uh, little glass with some collectibles here. Look at this. Kiss, Keychain, The Farewell Tour in 2000. <laughs> What's this? I don't know. Okay. All right. A little pin from the Railroad Museum. Nice. Got some wheat pennies right here. 1952, not too old. Ooh, can't make out the date. I have to look closer at that one. All right, a little foreign coin, and those are regulars, and two wheat pennies. Okay, what's in here, though? What, is he, what did he wrap up here? Ooh, that's an arrowhead. Nice. Very nice. Very sharp. That's cool. Tunnel portals, cut stone portals too. Whoa, look at this. <laughs> look at this. Does that not look like an interesting box right there? Oh my goodness. Oh, what's this one look like? Oh yes. This is Guns N' Roses right there. This is cool. Ooh, this is gonna be fun. All right guys, let me clear some space here. Okay, all right, let's see what we got. This looks kind of fun. All right. Oh, there's so much miscellaneous stuff going on here already. Already. Look at this. <laughs> Ski Southwest. Oh, these little stir sticks. I don't know if that's have any value at all. But we're going to put them aside. I think I'll make some little mystery like junk drawer boxes out of this stuff. Niagara Falls. Tabasco. All right. This is definitely junk drawer. Okay. What's that? Toilet paper, a little screwdriver, Ooh, there's an old camera, 35 millimeter camera, a little Vivitar, 35 millimeter, focus free it says, made in China, cool, matches, House of Prime Ribs, San Francisco, it looks look a little older, Hardy Popper, should I do it, <laughs> what do you guys think, should I do it, oh, that's a old plastic there. It didn't even pop. All right. Oh, that's interesting. Guns N' Roses. Guns N' Roses Christmas Ornament. 2006. It is opened. Huh. Plus digital. What does this mean? Oh, you send it in and get digital photos made out of your 35 millimeter. It's a disposable camera. Oh, here's one more. Franklin Templeton. Wait, what the heck? Oh, this is something different right here. This is something different. Franklin Templeton. Developed before March of 2000. I may have missed that date just by a little bit. Here's a little rubber ducky. Little umbrellas. Oh, geez. Cookies. Okay, that, this is probably no good. These mints they've kept a lot of different stuff okay tommy girl here's a little bit more perfume Another 35 millimeter minota af 101r okay here's some binox binox bushnell luna edition stanley cup <laughs> 2005 to 2006 that's funny oh this is die cast die cast i can tell it's huh, pretty neat 2003 lincoln navigator this is a jada toys dub city not minty fresh it almost looks like they painted the hood i see paint on there sloppy job too this will not be going to the auction guys maybe into like a junk drawer or something i mean a, a junk drawer mystery box but yeah, this is not this is not the quality of the die cast that we like to sell. We like to sell really good die cast stuff. Nice condition, nice quality. Jada toy stuff's good, but not in that shape. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'd rather have jewelry, but it's 
better than like thumbtacks or paper clips or something. Alright, just some change. How random. Totally random. Beauty and the Beast. Here's the Beast. Another Beast. Some little figurines. They're very dusty though. Alright, got some more Disney stuff. There's Belle. Lumiere. That's cool. Looks pretty funky in there. See that? It's a little swampy. A little swampy. Okay, another nutcracker. We got lots of nutcrackers. We'll be cracking lots of nuts. Cracking lots of nuts. Oh, that one's cool. It's like a cat nutcracker. Bark, 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 bark. Oh, okay. This is a little better. Disney's from Japan. That might be a little bit older. Okay, that actually is cool. We're stepping it up a little bit. That is shelf worthy. Okay, 101 Dalmatian dog, right? Cool. A little Donald Duck action there. Another 101 Dalmatians. Another Dalmatian. I shall name him Spot. Huh. They re must have really liked the Dalmatian movie because that makes four of them. Make that five Dalmatians. Six Dalmatians. No duplicates. I hope there's not 101 of them. There's the dad or the mom. I can't really tell. And here's another one. Two adults. All right, guys, next box. Oh, yeah. Oh, this one looks good. <laughs> Look at that. Hot Wheels die cast right here. What's that? that? Sounds good. Oh, we got some die casts. Got a lot of die casts. This is good. Really good. Okay. We've had these before, too, these classic ones. Oh, yeah. It's got all these Hot Wheels classic ones. There's a Woody. All right, there's four more. Oh, yeah. There's one that's loose. It's a Harley Davidson. It's a little dusty on top. It must have been displayed somewhere. God damn, this is something different. Firewood Custom Buick. I've not seen one of these yet. I mean, I've never seen one of these before in uh, any of the lockers we got, and we haven't seen one in this type of box before. Not that I remember. Oh, here's another one. Same thing? Yeah, same thing. There's four more of those classic ones right here. Here's an Ertl collectible 1918 Ford runabout. Let's take a look at that. All right, that's pretty nice. It's heavy. Ertl. It's a little N-gauge rail, uh, railroad thing. It looks like a little model. Blacksmith shop. Uh, I don't think that's complete, though. And there's a, something manual for a stinger. This is miscellaneous stuff. This is not complete. That's too bad. Oh, but this might be something better right here. Ford GT. Oh, oh, oh. 1965. Oh, please be in here. Ah, oh, dang. <laughs> dang, that is really too bad. Oh, look at this. Matchbox King size made in England. Racing car transporter. Okay, this might be worth some money right here. That's pretty cool, but not as cool as that model would have been. 1965 model. Mm -mm -mm. What are all these guys for? Oh, look at this a coin in here. It's random. 1974 Eisenhower dollar. Okay. Here's some old. What is that? Is that old audio tape? It's got a rubber band around it, which is disintegrated. But th is that audio tape there? Here's a little frisbee that's been chewed up. It's too bad. Another little frisbee that has not been chewed up. Wham O Mini Frisbee. This is vintage. That's 1967. Right there. Now we're getting some really old stuff. And this one, if we had this, the box is in such good shape. I bet you we could sell the box maybe. Because it's nice shape. Uh, for something that is what? 55 years old? But if that model was in it, that would be worth some buku bucks. What's this? Super Deluxe Transistor Radio. Ooh, that's nice. North American Solid State. 
This is cool. Hong Kong. Uh, it's just, is that just dusty in there? I'm going to get the compressed air and blow that out. Man, this locker is just incredible. Such cool stuff. I collected so many different things. Make your own signs, adjustable. Oh, this is some little stencils again. We just put some of these in our miscellaneous box at the auction last week. Yep, some little brass stencils. These are very old. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. I did not see this box before. Okay, now the Hot Wheels, good. Let's get this stuff out of here. All right, let's see what's in here. Start with this, then we'll go back to these. I think we've seen these before. Railroad Avenue, it says right here. Railroad Avenue, and I think these little figurines for your train sets. And a little conductor, look at that. A lot of detail. It's got the, all the guys, and it's circled right there. Mike, that's the guy. He's one of the conductors, so. Made in England. Huh, neat. Well, we've got a lot of them. Oh, there's Jack. <laughs> there's Jethro. He's taking a nap. Oh, there's two jacks, haha, <laughs> pair of jacks. And I don't know what we got here. This guy's sitting down. This guy right here, that's Dan. And here we've got a little burrow. A little burrow. Another burrow. Got two of them. All right, here's a couple mysteries. Some mystery cars, we don't know what's in there. Oh, yeah, look at that. There's another Woody right there. Doug Miller, you know what I'm saying? And here's another... Hot Wheels, all right, we got some good stuff in here. Okay, this is exciting. This is exciting. Come on, be some red lines or something. Oh, <laughs> I thought they were cars. They're tapes, but we have Ozzy Osbourne. No more tears. Ozzy Osbourne, no rest for the wicked. Madonna like a prayer. Huey Lewis in the news. Sports, which is, that's like their breakout album. Hard Rock in 70s. Motley Crue, Dr. Feelgood. Yeah. And Boston. All right. So for Hot Wheels. But this, this I think is gonna be the answer to my hopes right here. Okay. We got some stuff here. What, okay. what is this? It's dusty on top again. Probably on display. And that is a matchbox. Model A Ford Matchbox. It is from 1970. Wait, what the heck? It's either 70 or 79. That's a little bit older. Okay. That'd be good. It's a little Porsche. 1979. Uh, it's either, again, either 70 or 79. Porsche Turbo. Can you see that? Wait, maybe I can see right here. What's that say? 1978. That's pretty old. Okay. These are like in excellent condition too. See on there, this is another 1978, I think. Cool. Is that Evil Knievel's car, maybe? Huh. Look at these are like in like, perfect condition for being like f over 40 years old. 1982. Okay, so this one's 38 years old. Look at the condition on that. That won't even. This one won't even go in there. I won't auction that off in this lot. This is just some some cheap uh, plastic. It's got some metal in there, but this is this is not. This is nothing. Okay, this one's a Hot Wheels now. Gre greased Gremlin, and this from again. Nineteen seventy six. It's not a red line, but that's got to be worth some money. It's in perfect condition. Red Rider. Matchbox. 1972. Guys, that's 48 years old. And look at the condition. Outstanding. Wow. Another beautiful, beautiful car. Matchbox. 1979. And this one's got a little bit more wear. This would be more of a typical, I mean, this is still in good condition, but this would be more typical what we'd find from that time period. 
1968. 52 years old. Turbo Fire. Turbo Fire. Okay, I got to look these guys up, but I think these will be hitting our auction. Even this little uh, carrying case here has got to be worth some money, I would think. Look at that. Some sticker sheets. One sticker's missing. 1986. Okay. Excelente. This is 1983 on this box right here. That's got to be worth some money, too. It's also in good condition. Look really good. Another box. I don't know, what does that say? Arrow sweatpants. It's kind of hard to see. I don't know, maybe you wrote red ink on a red tape. I'm not sure, but Arrow sweatpants does not sound like a good box to me. All right, so there's a sweatshirt. Wow, pretty much worn. Worn out, I mean. And there's some sweatpants. Okay, these are these are exercise pants, right? Oh, actually, that's pretty good. Nike. Sweats. Wix sweats. Brand new with tags. Here's a pair of Kiss boxer shorts. 12 bucks. <laughs> pretty funny. Pretty funny. Okay, here's a champion sweatshirt. Brand new with tags, too. Dang, 36 bucks. Champion sweatpants, <laughs> 21 bucks. Good stuff. It's like yoga pants. Uh, Russell Athletic here, brand new again with tags. Again, tags. M Nike. More tag. More pants, brand new with tags. Men's silk boxers, 10 bucks. They're small. Fog City Diner, brand new shirt, San Francisco. It's in a sealed bag. Size double XL. Here's this sleeveless shirt, size medium, brand new with tags. Okay, this might get a little boring for you guys. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to stop it and start it again if we find anything good. But it's looking like, I mean, this is good stuff. New with tags, athletic wear. This stuff's easy to sell, really. All right, guys, so I took all the stuff out. This right here is all brand new stuff with tags. And uh, that's good. That's really good. The stuff that was without tags that was worn, it's like not special. I just put in a different bin. We'll take it to the either the flea market or thrift store and donate. All right, guys next bag <laughs> i see something good right on top look at this coca-cola coca-cola die cast this is fantastic oh metal bank too yeah there's a lot of these die cast cars double as banks we've seen that many times 1994 it's 26 years old and coca-cola stuff's always very very popular it's a good start Let's see what else we got a coffee mug uh, oh, Department 56. Six dollars. Huh. Department 56 coffee mug. Hmm. All right. There's another one. I believe. Yeah, Department 56 right there. And a six dollar coffee mug. Oh, whoa, ho, ho. All right. Now we're talking. Check this out. 1931. We got a lot more die cast here. That one's a Coors, right? And this 1994 Ertl. Great, great, great. Oh, I see more, guys. I see more. Another Coors truck. Okay. 1994 Ertl. Good, good, good. Another one. It's Coors, but it's malted milk. It's like supplies for brewing, probably. And, oh, another one. So quite a few of those. I think there's more. What's this? Oh, okay, this is something else. The Colonnade. Pueblo Encanado. Huh, 1994 Broadway stores. Broadway Emporium and Wine Stocks. Okay. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's kind of cool. It's like a little mission yard or something. Like a courtyard for a mission. That's what it makes me think of. Oh, and there's the mission. <laughs> mission Santa Elena. Very funny. Oh, there you go. Very nice. That's it for that bag. Okay, one more box. I think this is going to do it. After this, I'm going to edit this stuff up and try to get it out to you today. So you guys can watch some video because I haven't put out video in a long time. Sorry about that, by the way. Uh, ooh, this is a vintage ornaments here. It's an old tree topper there. Okay, that looks pretty old. 
Made in Western Germany. What the heck? That's very... Let's take another look at that. It's got this uh, spray on it. I think hopefully that was meant to be there. Like flocking. Hopefully they didn't put this on and then flock the tree. But got the right shape, but it doesn't have the paint on there. So I don't really know what to think about that. But this thing, it feels old. It feels very fragile. Get that right back in the box. Hallmark, 1985. We got some more ornaments here. From 1985. Okay, Mervyn's 1992 Village Square. Hmm. Okay. Alright, Santa's best, huh? And it's too bad it's not Hallmark. It looks very similar to Hallmark. 1991. So we got a bunch of these little Christmas charmers here. Hug a bunch. There's the hug a bunch. 1985 Hallmark cards. Took out some old stuff in this locker. This has been quite a uh, time capsule, the whole thing. All right, so that was that. But let's see what's in here. Because the fact that it's tied up with twine makes me a little curious because we don't see that very often. This is a music box. Okay, look at that. Man. 1987 Korea. Seymour Man Incorporated. Hmm. Let's see if these guys are collectible. All right, guys. That wasn't exactly like the most exciting, climatic box to end this tale on, uh, but it is the last box that I opened, so that's the way it rolls sometimes. But what good stuff came out today, right? Amazing stuff. My favorite, of course, is the old Matchbox cars, and we had, I think, at least one Hot Wheel in there. Old stuff, early 70s, late 60s, amazing condition. Like, uh, immaculate. Some of them are, like, almost mint. The, you just don't see that very often. They're usually scuffed up. The wheels are tweaked. They're all because the kids play with these things. They played with them so hard. And we're talking decades, right? We're talking 40. No, we're talking almost 50 years, right? Almost 50 years on most of those. That stuff's going to be coming up in our auctions this week. Most of the stuff you saw come out, maybe not those Christmas ornaments. I don't know if those are good enough. I really do try to get good stuff. And guys, I've got great stuff in store this week. I've got comics. And not just any comics, I've got some Silver Age comics coming up in auction. By Silver Age, I'm saying like um, like 20 cents when they were brand new. Like stuff from the 60s and 70s. Old, old stuff. Costume jewelry, we're going to have so much. We've got tons of costume jewelry. I've got knives, you guys keep asking for knives. i got a ton of knives. Coins, we got some more coins to auction off. You're going to want to be there, please be there. Monday, 6 p.m. Pacific. Wednesday, 6 p.m. Pacific. And then we might do a third auction this week with just women's wear. Thanks for watching this great unboxing. I can't believe every, just pulling out more and more good stuff from that locker. It's been fantastic. I still have a bunch of boxes over there that probably, probably once I edit this video, I'm going to jump right over and do more unboxing and start the film again because it is fun. It is fun. This locker has been fun. And I've got tons more in my store. So when I run out, I'm going to go get some more. We got lots more videos coming, guys. All right. But until then, good luck to you. God bless you. We'll see you next time here on Lockin' Nuts.